Hello, welcome to this unit, Creating OER. In this unit, we will be exploring various ways and tools used in the creation of OER. Creating an OER is a different process than creating educational materials that will be published and distributed by a traditional publisher or even just distributed to your own students. When you author an OER, you contribute to your knowledge freely and openly to a global community. That OER becomes community property, which can be used and changed often without you even being aware of it. You should be willing to share editable files of your OER to allow others to make changes, add to it in the form of adaptation, and you should be considering maintaining your OER by updating the content as necessary and correcting any mistakes. This allows for the ongoing quality relevance and sustainability of your OER. Let's take a look at the steps for creating OER. Steps for creating OER. 1. Plan. 2. Pick a tool. 3. Make accessible. 4. Share. Plan your OER. As you are developing your OER project, take some time to explore the following guiding questions. Does the OER you need already exist? Could your own teaching materials be adapted for use as OER? How do you define your students and faculty audiences? For which courses could your OER be used? Do you plan or developing additional materials, for example, exercises, workbook, to accompany your OER? What expertise is required to create your OER? Pick a tool. What to consider? You can use many of the same tools that you currently use to create educational resources for your course to create OER, but you may want to consider using tools that were developed especially for creating OER, which contains features that will facilitate openness, describability, accessibility, and sharing. On your screen is a list of criteria to consider when choosing which tool you would like to use to create your OER. Types of OER supported. Does this tool allow you to create text-based or multimedia resources or course models that may contain both? Special character. If you plan to create a resource that will include special character and equation, does this tool support that? Accessibility. Does this tool facilitate creating content that is accessible, sharing and licensing? Does this allow you to easily apply a Creative Commons license? Hosting. Does this tool allow you to host your OER on an existing OER platform with a permanent link for sharing? Export option. Does this tool allow you to export your content to a format that others can reuse and share? Could your students export a printable format if they so choose? Cost. What will these two cost to use for you, for your students? Will students have to create an account in order to view your OER? If so, what are the tools, terms of use, and how does it manage your student personal data? We will be exploring some of these tools used in creating OER. We have quite a number of them, but for now, let's take a look at this few. Open Auto. Open Auto is created and hosted by OER Commons. Open Auto has a resource builder for creating text-based resources using a Google Doc SQL editor and a module builder for creating a course module that could include students and instructors' instructions, sequence stacks, and supporting resources. Special features include the ability to embed multimedia content, a Google Doc import options, authoring tools that make it easier to create accessible content, and the Maths ML support. Once published, OER is hosted in OER Commons, making them easily accessible and discoverable online. You can export your OER in a variety of formats. What will you need? Free OER Commons account. When to use it? If you are creating a text-based OER that you want others to be able to easily find, read, and reuse. Press book. Based on WordPress, Pressbook is an ebook creation tool which also provides a number of helpful features for creating a textbook. 
including automatically generated fronts and back matter. A collection of themes for easily modifying the appearance, latex support and hosting on Pressbook. What will you need? Pressbook accounts. With the free accounts, your finished book will contain a watermark on each page, but the paid version will get you watermark free files. The web version for your book will also be private unless you upgrade your account. When to use it? If you are creating an open textbook, Pressbook is one of the best tools available, but note that you will have to pay a fee in order to get the files that you want to share. Book down. Bookdown is an open source R package that allows you to write book and long form articles reports with R Markdown. Bookdown supports a wide range of programming languages as well as graphics and interactive application. You can export your content in multiple formats, PDF, LaTeX, HTML, EPUB and Word. What you will need, free accounts with GitHub, R Markdown, and associated software packages. When to use it? If you are creating an open textbook, familiar with R and Markdown, and want an open source solution. Jupyter Notebook. Jupyter Notebook is an open source web application that allows you to create and share documents that contains live code, equation, visualization, and text. Jupyter supports over 40 programming language and can be shared through GitHub or Jupyter Notebook Viewer. What you will need Python 3, Jupyter, or Anaconda to be used for installation. When to use it? If you are creating a computational OER that involves user interaction with code or visualization and you want an open source solution. Making OER accessible. Making your OER accessible, this means making sure that people of all ability can access your content. The time to think about accessibility is when you are starting an OER project. Will the tool or platform you choose to create your OER help to create an accessible resource? What actions can you take to serve users with all types of ability? BC Campus Educational Accessible Tools. It's an overview of accessibility concerns and best practices to use when creating accessible OER. The toolkit also has an accessibility checklist for evaluating your OER. Accessibility of online content. Tutorials, tools, and best practices for making online course content accessible compiled by Portland Community College addressed how to make accessible resources in MS Word, PDF, and Google Doc. Share your OER. When you finish your OER, you will need to find a place where you can make it accessible to others. Before sharing, consider the following. What supplement material do you want to provide with your resource? Slides, video, transcripts, or assignments. How editable can you make your resource? That is, use open file format, provide editable source files. Which Creative Commons license do you want to put on it? On what platform do you want to share your resource? You could store your OER in a personal website or on a cloud platform such as Google Drive or Dropbox. However, it may be hard for others to find your OER on these sites. And these sites may not be permanent. Below are some additional options for hosting your OER. I crave your indulgence to visit some of these repositories mentioned in this unit and get familiar with them. Thank you and see you in Unit 5.